What's going on everybody? It's your boy Teddy back for another video on my YouTube channel for you guys. Now today I'm going to be opening my Magierna Mythical Collections box. This box came out January 20th of 2017 in unison with uh, the Volcanian Mythical Collection box. Now this box itself features uh, as a promo, um, the the actual promo is the uh, beautiful Magierna as you saw. It also comes with Mew, Manaphy, Shaman, Arceus, Genesect, and Meloetta. Now, the Volcanian came with the uh, Full Art Volcanian and came with uh, Celebi, Jirachi, Darkrai, Victini, and Keldeo. So basically, it came with every promo you could have gotten throughout the year 2016, which was the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. The box itself comes with two Evolutions packs, one Steam Siege, one Breakthrough, and one Fates Collide. Now, I am personally going to open the packs in order of uh, how much I like this set, so I'm going to be opening Evolutions first because it is my least favorite. Um, and not to say that I don't like Evolutions, it's just not uh, top tier for me, you know? Um, so there's a lot of things going on in the Pokemon world that we w I wanted to get to, uh, to talking to you in this video. Um, a pretty big thing that recently came about was Pokebank got released for Sun and Moon, which is huge. Everyone went, ooh, look at that, look at that, look, look yeah, I, you, I know you like that, Machamp. Alright, so everyone won, everyone went absolutely crazy for Pokebank when it came out because you could use all of your Pokemon that you got from Red, Blue, Yellow, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, uh, you name it, XY, any of the Poke- here, enjoy the code. Any of those Pokemon that you caught, that you enjoyed, that you played through your games with, that you bonded with, you can now use in Sun and Moon. And it's awesome, we love it. As an added bonus, when you get Pokebank and when you put it onto your Sun and Moon, you get Munium Z, an exclusive item for Mew that, uh, ooh, wait, look at that, look at that, look at that Venusaur EX, Mega Venusaur EX. But as I was saying, um, when you get Pokebank for Sun and Moon, you get an exclusive item called Munium Z. Now, what Munium Z does is it transforms Mew Psychic into an, uh, if I may say, an, uh, fantastically named attack called Genesis Supernova. Really awesome, really, really cool. Uh, I, I am just really happy that I'm allowed to use all of my Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Battle Ready Pokemon. And while we're on the topic of Battle Ready Pokemon from, oh, here's another code for you. While we're on the topic of Battle Ready Pokemon from Omega, Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, be sure you head over to the Mount Moon Twitter and give us a challenge over there. It is a gym leader type challenge where you battle all of our, we have about 14 to 15, I believe it is, type of uh, variations. You get eight of our gym badges and you get to move on to our Elite Four. If you beat our Elite Four, you get to move on to our Champion Villa. He is the only person on Twitter who has challenged us, who has completely beaten everybody. Can you dethrone him? Let's see. Oh, here's another the code for you guys. Now, some of you that have already been using Pokebank and have already transferred some of your Pokemon, and let me say that this is a very, 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 very few, select few of you, have noticed that when you switched it over, it was shiny. And you're just like, yo, wait, what the fuck? Like, this wasn't shiny. This is Gen 1. That wasn't a thing. Hold on, look at this Flaffy. This Flaffy is, like, miscut a little bit. Now, back to the random shinies. As I was saying before, sometimes when you're transferring your Pokemon from Gen 1 to Gen 7, they turn shiny. And if you didn't know why, here's the answer. In Gen 2, when they introduced shininess as an option in Pokemon, it was determined by your Pokemon's IVs, specifically in Speed, Defense, and Special. They all had to equal 10. If your Pokemon's Speed, Defense, and Special equal 10, you had a shiny Pokemon. Now, because this is Generation 1, and apparently those rules apply, now I could be completely wrong and please tell me if I am, when you switch them over, if your IVs are distributed in the right way, equaling 10, your Pokemon becomes shiny. Some other bugs have been found in the whole Pokebank transfer uh, situation. Uh, Pokemon will not be allowed to transfer if they have moves that are exclusively learned in Generation 1. So say goodbye to that whole uh, Fisher Machamp no guard thing. Sorry guys, not gonna happen. In addition, nature of your Pokemon will be determined by your Pokemon's experience. So, depending on how much experience your Pokemon has in Generation 1 is what nature you'll have in Generation 7. Uh, the original IVs are ignored completely. All of your Pokemon that you transfer will have th three perfect IVs, except for Mew who will automatically have five perfect IVs. And then EVs are all set to zero no matter what you guys had in the beginning. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We got pulled, pulled those uh, Venusaur and that miscut Flaffy on I'm happy. Everybody have a great day.